So I have the, the head forming already. So this is the sides of the bear, and then this is like the snout part. And whenever you sew this, you'll try, you're going to want to try to get the tip of the nose to line up with this middle seam here. All right. And it kind of looks like this. All right, so now I just kind of flatten this bare face out a little bit on my table. The best I can. Now this is very stretchy, so you want to kind of stretch it just a little bit to get all of the wrinkles and folds out. Now I have the ears already stuffed with a tiny bit of polyfill. Now you don't have to do this part, but this part helps me keep the bare um, ears from sliding when I have you know soft or silky fabric I just go over here and I put a simple I I just put a simple straight stitch across the ears I do not fat stitch for this particular for this particular part um, I do I do snip as much loose threads and polyfill off that I can. Alright, and then this is going to be the back of the head. Alright, so I want to make sure the right sides are facing. Now I'm, I'm going to get to assembling the head here. Just give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and stitch the back of the head. I usually do a quarter inch seam. I always do a back stitch to finish that off. All right, so this is the back of the head and this is the face. So I'm gonna look at these ears and decide, do I want the blue towards the face like this or do I want the plaid? Because the back of the head is plaid, I am going to go ahead and maybe I kind of, I don't know, let me see how that looks. I think I'm going to make the blue the back of the ears, the back of the ears. So let me go ahead and put a straight stitch across the bottom of this ear. And I do less than a quarter inch seam on this part of the ears. And again, I just go through and I trim off all of this excess here. All right, now, now you can see, do you want the plaid in the front or do you want the blue of the ears facing? You know, kind of, I kind of like the blue actually. So I'm going to go ahead and change my mind now. And I'm going to have the blue facing because I want this part of the ear facing the face. If that makes sense, I'm going to put it here and let the plaid blend in with the back of the head on this particular bear. Bear. So now sometimes with stretchy fabric, your pieces might become uneven. So all I do is I fold the nose in half and I match this and I just trim the excess fabric here. Let me get my good scissors. So here I'm just gonna trim just a little bit of that so it lays flat. It just makes sewing the head and ears together a lot easier. Now I'm gonna unfold the face one last time. Get all the thread off of here. Lay it out, stretch it just a little bit, okay? You just want to stretch it out just a tad. I'm going to put the blue facing here. And then, do you see the seam where the side of the head and the nose meet? You can position your bare ears anywhere you want. Some people have them clear on to the side. Some have them meeting up in the front like this. Um, I don't particularly like that look for my, my style of bears. So what I do is I use this seam as a measurement to the ear. So one thumb print or width, thumb width is where 
the ear placement goes for my bears. Um, now, if I have a customer that wants them positioned somewhere else, then, you know, I will do that. But this particular customer gave me pretty much freedom, um, creative freedom to do whatever. She just wants really cute bears designed, and um, she ordered a couple extras also for her order. And now I'm just going to pin these in place because I want to make sure everything lays flat. I, this is where I kind of look at this, the lining of it. Do, they, do the ears look equal in place? You know, did I pin it down flat? This is the time to do that. That way you don't have to rip any seams out. All right, so now I'm going to carefully place the ears back on the bear's head. And I'm going to sew... And remove your pins. Don't don't ever sew on your your pins. It's really bad. I've done that many times because I would get going so quickly, and I would bust the needle on my sewing machine and get this pin stuck into the almost down in the motor. It was not a good day. <laughs> so back stitch. You want to back stitch the ear in place now, okay? Follow along. Le this is less than a quarter of an inch right now. I cut this down and then I go back over to this ear here and this ear here I take the pins out and lay them flat I kind of I stretch the ears and head just a little bit being careful that I keep the ear in place. My back stitch. Less than a quarter inch. Okay. And I trim this off. Like this. I lay my head down. Bear face, the bear face. Now, this seam is going to be invisible pretty soon. You see how it didn't really line up? But that's okay because I have to go over this head, the perimeter, one last time when I'm sewing the entire body together. I have my own way of doing that. But now I am going to place on the, um, the eyes and the nose. So here are the safety eyes with their backs. And this is the nose and the back of it. <clears throat> and I'm gonna set the nose with its back over um, off to the side right there. Okay, whoops, sorry. All right, so there's the nose, these are the eyes. This is how I measure my eyes. I take the backs and I lay it on the face. Let me see if I can get a little closer. And I just position these backs to where I think they look cute. Some people put the eyes clear on the sides of the heads. That's up to you. Uh, again, I, I don't particularly care for that look, but if my, again, Whatever the customer wants, that's how I would do that. And then I'm taking my water-soluble ink pen. These are water-soluble ink. And I'm going to go inside here and make a little mark. And it's really hard to see on this fabric. I want to make sure the eyes are even. And let me see if I can, do you see those little dots? So all I did was I placed the safety back on the face and measured it, okay? And the nose, I look for the stitched seam for the nose. I know it's a little hard to see on camera, but, um, or, or you can do this. You can see where the eyes are, place those back there, kind of give you an idea of where the eyes will be. And then right in the middle goes straight down and that's where you'll put the nose. So I just put a little dot right here. 
I remove the backs and I look, you know, I kind of eyeball it. Does it look like it's even, even spaced like a triangle or pyramid? So, or triangle, whichever. Uh, put the lid back on here because it'll dry out. And then I take my seam ripper and I carefully, carefully poke a little hole. Here's the deal. You need to go very slow with this because if you slip with the seam ripper, it'll slip right through the face and you'll have to redo the entire bare face. So I just do a little bitty pull there. I grab an eye. And I gently push it through. I make sure it's flat. I take the back and push it on. And there's one eye. Okay. Now I'm going to do that with a second one. Just take a little tiny tear. Poke it through the other side. Right there. Put the safety backing on. Snap, you definitely want to hear that snap. Now we have two eyes and now it's time for the nose. Be sure, you see where these seams are on the nose? Do not poke a hole through that. Your nose will fall apart. <laughs> so you're actually going to put the safety nose right above that center seam. And so be very careful not to put a hole in that seam. Okay, just gently poke a hole. Tiny little hole, that's all you need. Push the nose through. Make sure it's on straight. Whoa, and you don't want to do that. Here you go. Okay. Straighten up the nose a little bit. Okay. I can see a little seam that I need to fix on this face. Always double check your seams. can check the nose, make sure it's straight, um, and you can see that it's on there straight. So there is your memory bear head.